Smoke rises over the town of Gul Bahar, the entrance to the Panjshir Valley in northeast Afghanistan. Neither the Soviets during the 1980s war nor the Taliban have ever managed to control this mountainous region around 100 kilometers north of Kabul. A shell lands nearby. Taliban fighters ready their weapons. Men in this village say they have driven their wives and children to safety. They are angry and scared. The Americans betrayed us. President Ghani betrayed us too. You left us under the cannons and tanks, and we can't stop either side fighting. How much can they kill their brothers? How much can they kill their fellow Afghans? They have to stop fighting. The Taliban drive American military vehicles and pickup trucks, taking fighters to and from the front line. Thousands of men like these across Afghanistan have known little else but conflict and war all their lives. The fighting started three days ago. Now we've taken a lot of areas up there by the antenna. We have no issue with the civilians. We are here to defend their rights. People are staying in their homes. The National Resistance Front of Afghanistan, or NRF, is believed to be several thousand strong and made up of mainly ethnic Tajik fighters and former Afghan army soldiers. The group is led by this man, Ahmad Massoud. He's British military academy trained and the son of Ahmad Shah Massoud, who fought against the Soviets and the Taliban and was assassinated by Al-Qaeda two days before the 9-11 attacks in 2001. Ahmad Massoud is demanding the Taliban form an inclusive government which guarantees the rights of all Afghanistan's ethnic minorities, including ethnic Tajiks, who make up around a quarter of the country's population. The fighting started after two weeks of negotiations with the Taliban collapsed. Uh, we have a lot of equipment with ourselves. We will defend from our valley, from our uh, territory until we have one blood of uh, one drop of blood in our body. So we will resist until we martyr in here. Taliban fighters edge up a slope along tracks they say are heavily mined. As we were getting ready to go live, another shell landed close by. The Taliban has blocked phone networks in the valley. There are growing fears about the estimated 150,000 people living inside and many in Taliban-controlled areas around Gul Bahar. The big concern is that Massoud's forces are coming round on the mountain ridges and trying to surround this area in order to isolate Gul Bahar. We left in Golbahar, but now we are leaving. Today I came from Kabul to collect our belongings. I already took my family out. The fighting is ongoing. There are shells hitting people's homes. Both sides are shelling. Afghan families flee for their lives in one of the last pockets of resistance to Taliban rule. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, near Gul Bahar, Afghanistan.